Fire and smoke rises from the city before me. The King's Bridge is gone. Oh, no. No. Matilda! I vaguely hear a scream of terror that sounds much like my own voice from afar. As though the Golden King's gentle smile is moving, moving farther away from me. Every now and then, I tell my daughter the story of the night some years ago. A night when the sky was radiant with shooting stars. That night, your father and I made countless wishes together. An asteroid called Ulysses came into Earth's orbit and disintegrated into millions of pieces which poured down on the land below. As we watched the shooting stars that night, fragments from the asteroid rained down on our eastern neighbor, Estovakia, damaging a great deal of their infrastructure and devastating their economy. Soon after, the news reported that their nation had fallen into a civil war, one that would last for years. Eventually, the internal strife was brought to an end when the generals came into power. In the midst of hardship, the citizens of Estovakia were convinced that the only way they could recover as a nation was to rely on a military government led by these generals. Before long, they went so far as to invade our nation, the Republic of Ameria. Our military was forced to retreat to Kessid, an island far to the west. My husband, a fighter pilot, also hasn't come home since. I walk on. I am unable to think. All I can do is follow the others. Ever since we came to the twisted remains of my daughter's school bus, my soul has left me. I am empty. Some of our tanks are parked at the approach to the bridge. There's a train still running on the other side of the river. She goes all the way out to the edge of the border. We've got to blast this bridge before the enemy gets a hold of it. So move it or lose it, people! Here I see the wreckage of a jet that was shot down. On what's left of the nose, I can make out some writing. Melissa. It's my name. What a cruel twist of fate for me to see this. My pilot husband, who had left for work that day with the same loving look on his face as always. He had painted my name on his angel. I go into the crowd on the train and endure two weeks of pure hell before finally ending up at a refugee camp at the border. I don't know any of the names on the list. My compatriots, who have now become refugees, gather around a single radio to listen to the broadcast. Even though the station is broadcasting out of Gracemeria, occupying forces have taken complete control of the airwaves. 
The enemy must have completely overtaken our capital, Grace Maria. Okay. However, Thank God. the announcer went on to say that our castle was robbed of countless antiquities that once were elaborately displayed in our castle. Stripped bare. As the Estabakian military, it is our sworn duty to govern this crumbling nation and get it back on its feet, starting right here in Great Maria. I found a group of street children in front of the central station here, where the area has literally been reduced to a slum. Step on up here, little girl. What do you have to say about all this? Go dance with the angels, mister. My ears were not deceiving me. That voice belonged to my daughter, Matilda. I am Lieutenant Colonel Wojciech of the Estovakian Air Force. I arrived on a train to Grace Maria. To my detriment, I sustained a leg injury in the early stages of the war, relegating me to ground duty. I am now working as an intelligence officer for the Air Force. The ceiling has collapsed in a central station. From there, the city appears resigned to its fate beneath the Estovakian flag. What a pitiful sight. But at least there are no craters to mar the land. They are lucky in that sense. There goes my spare clothing. Hmm? They will not be so lucky with these documents. What a miserable city this must be, with their children in such a state. The fine works of art once displayed in this castle were completely gone before the occupation forces arrived. Even the ancient armor of the Golden King, the collective heart and soul of the city's people, along with the crown, have disappeared without a trace. I must relay this unfortunate information back to the generals in my country. They were quite fond of those antiquities. Estovakian bombers is heading toward Vitose, the city here on the island of Kesit. The enemy is plotting to storm Campania Airport where our military is stationed to stamp us out and put an end to this thing. Enemy bombers are approaching Vitose from the north. Our advance team estimates they'll be above the city in about 15 minutes. Air units are to cooperate with our radar facilities and resume operations. 
An enemy takeover of Vitose would mean the ultimate destruction of our country, Emeria, and of our Amerian people. Intercept them at once. Take off. Garuda 1, we are clear for takeoff. Those bombers have passed through the mountains and are still on course for Vitoze. They're here. Head back to the base if you need supplies. You can land there at any time. Confirmed out. Keep up the good work. 
Missile struck target. The enemy bombers have been intercepted. Enemy aircraft around the Kessid perimeter have been significantly weakened. Our forces have taken advantage of this opportunity to arrange a swift counterattack. We expect the best from you. My daughter is alive somewhere in Grace Maria. It took me days to get here. Days of walking. But I know this road ends somewhere up ahead. There was no need to think about how to cross the river. Didn't that soldier on the tank say they were going to destroy this bridge before the enemy came? I start to feel as if things never go as they are said to. You've been ordered to start the mission now. The interception op was a success. 
Enemy air units around Kesed have been weakened. And the Republic of Ameria's military has taken full advantage of this prime opportunity to initiate a counterattack operation with all forces participating. Enemy forces have established a wide-scale defensive line around Sipley Field, consisting largely of tank battalions. Our ground forces are set up to cross the river and penetrate it, and eventually regain control of Kesset. Garuda team, we need you to support our advancing ground units and eliminate all enemy forces. Multiple units will be simultaneously carrying out various operations on the ground. Pay attention to the airspace above each operation area and provide support as needed. This must be the first time you've ever participated in a mission of this scale. The battle simulator is a good way to get some practical experience under your belt. Godspeed. Which plane should I select? How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off. Ghost Eye to all forces. We're about to engage enemy units on the other side of the river from multiple angles. This is Warlock Battalion. We'll be keeping the central unit occupied. Warlock Battalion here. We're set up to hit all enemy units on the east side. Still cars here. We've got the west side covered. Garuda team, provide cover for our troops on the ground and eliminate all Estovaki ground forces. Choose any area you want to cover. Cross the return line if you need supplies. It's at the south end of the airspace. They've got way more guys than us. Great confidence booster, huh? Let's get on it, Garuda One. Did you know that 90% of our operational forces are out on the battlefield? I love it. It's the bet of a lifetime. Use the Operation ID device when the battle gets too heavy. Your radar display can be toggled for each operation. Battalion. Take them out before they cross the bridge. Looks like they've got some anti-aircraft guns in the mix. Better go in ready for anything. Enemy ground units sighted. Guns fire! Finish them all before they cross the bridge. Better take them all out at once.
expected. If one of our remaining units can make it through, the entire enemy line will collapse. Ghost Eye to Garuda team, listen up. Aircraft that have already completed their operation objective are being sent your way. Call them in when you need backup. Forces. Mission complete. Get back to base. Looks like I won the bet. That's one step closer to Grace Maria. Garuda One, I've got a hunch we'll be going home a lot sooner with you on board. I'm counting on you, Talisman. Ghost. Thanks to your efforts. We have completed this mission successfully. Emerian forces were able to extend to the center of Kesed, expanding their power in the region. Estevakian forces were driven off the front line and have retreated to Bartolomeo Fortress, which is located in the center of the island. This mission should have given them a good taste of what our forces are capable of. 
Soon, we'll be able to drive all Estovakian forces out of Kessel. This guy's up next, huh? Hope he's happy with my name, rank, number, and birthday. Cause that's all he's gonna get out of me. He's all skin and bones, with eyes like a hawk. But that badge, and the cane. Old Hawkeye's here must have broken his wings in combat. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm no different. The sky I took for granted now seems so far away. Now that my little adventure here with Hawkeyes is over, all that awaits all me right. is a prison cell. These prisoners have lost their will to fight. The Amerian military administration is broken. They have nobody in power to provide the support they need. It's only a matter of time before they collapse. is concentrated on Mount Marcello in northern Keset. The enemy is mainly distributed throughout this mountainous area, with Bartolomeo Fortress as its center of operations. Providing a variety of high-level defensive measures and offensive might, this fortress also boasts strong anti-air capabilities. Our ground unit in this mission is to split into two groups, to the east and west, along with an air unit mainly providing ESN, which gives us three units in total. Garuda team, we need you to cover each of these units in whichever order you feel is necessary. The situation will change depending on which turn a particular battle takes. You'll need to keep close tabs on the combat situation of each unit to successfully complete this mission. Our forces on the mainland are scattered and desperate, doing all they can to protect our nation. We need you to help guarantee their success on this mission. And success on this mission is measured by how much support you can provide them with. Talisman, which plane should I pick? How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off. Checkpoint now. Evasion success. 
successful. Route one, destroy enemy aircraft. Shamrock's engaging. Ground target destroyed. Warlock Battalion has arrived at the first checkpoint. Fox 2. Naruto 1's plane is damaged. 